What is going on, guys? Your boy Joey Shakes. I'm going to guys with a video right now. I want to go over Eagles training camp for today. Uh, we're getting into the second day of pads and should be a lot of fun. There is some stuff we have to go over, some injuries, and obviously some snippets of some little things that are happening. And uh, kind of want to go right into that. So let's get straight into the injuries. Davion Taylor had a boot around his leg or his foot. I don't know if it was a boot around the foot or it was about around the leg, but not looking good for Davion Taylor. Going to miss some valuable time right now with the linebackers. And I don't know. I don't even know what happened, but we're just going to have to find out. Jacoby Stevens, this is a bummer right here. Um, has a hamstring injury as of right now. Will be out uh, week to week. Um, so after a really good day picking off Jalen Hurts the, yesterday, um, now has a hamstring injury. John Hightower, I don't know what's going on. It might not be anything crazy. It was something unknown. It was a minor injury, something unknown. So I don't think it's serious. And usually these unknown injuries or undisclosed injuries usually mean that it's really nothing. He probably got seen walking to the sideline and maybe holding his hand or I don't know. I don't know what it is. Uh, but I think John Hightower is fine. So I'm not worried about it too much. So when you go to the linebacker position today, TJ Edwards takes over with Eric Wilson with the first team. Obviously, Alex Singleton, um, Davion Taylor, you know, not around right now. Uh, I like TJ Edwards a lot. I think he's a flash in the pan. I never really got a better chance undrafted. Um, great coverage skills. I think, you know, he's great against the run. I think he showed a lot the past few years. Um, I just don't think they used him enough. But don't go crazy with the linebacker group, guys, because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, people ask me, like, is this a weakness, Joe? I'm like, no, this is more of an unknown because, you know, you have so many linebackers right now. They have to try to maximize production out of. So don't be, like, surprised if they put a linebacker there that they ne necessarily wouldn't have in the first team. They're going to move guys around. They're going to try to move guys around where it makes sense and get as much production and get and kind of, you know, ex let these guys fly around, you know what I mean, and, and get their skill sets up and, you know, see what these guys got. That's It's all about development right now. So if they're going to be moving a lot of guys to the first team defense, just let them do that. They're going to do that for a while now. Um, so I would definitely, you know, keep an eye on that linebacker position, one of the most exciting. And you got Joe Flacco. And Joe Flacco has probably been – had a really good camp, you know. I, I wasn't, like, horrible, hard about this signing at all. Like, I liked it. I thought it was reliable. Um, you know, and didn't really cost that much, but you know, your backup quarterbacks are important too. And the Eagles value the backup quarterback position and why not have Joe Flacco? Do I think he could take over a whole season? No. Do I think he could take over a couple games? Definitely. Do I think he could run an offense? Definitely. I think everything's got to be almost perfect around him because he really isn't mobile anymore. But, um, you know, Joe Flacco's had a long career, you know, and, you know, has a lot of family in Philadelphia and. Had a really nice touchdown to Greg Ward today. Really nice touchdown. So uh, happy with that. Greg Ward's had a pretty solid camp as well. Um, so haven't really covered any any Joe Flacco news, but um, here is some Joe Flacco news. And, and it has done some good things um, earlier in the training camp, but, uh, you know, just reporting some now. So he's done a really good job. Um, to go to Jordan Mulata, this one's interesting. Him and Josh Sweat were going at it today. Um, facing off, and Josh Wett got the better means of Jordan Mulata. And um, that's a good thing, guys. Like, I think when it comes to productivity, when it comes to consecutive, like, really good, really good days, Josh Wett is probably the most consistent player in camp right now. Like, he's had probably one of the best camps of any players that we have right now. No joke. Um, you know, Josh Wett is, is ready to come. I mean, you hear from Brandon Graham, you hear from... Uh, Kerrigan that you know he's the future and he's a beast and um you know uh, I'm thinking you know uh, you know Derek Barnett watch out because he's already in front of Derek Barnett on the depth chart right now probably gonna start very proud of it so I'm not expecting I'm not expecting Jordan Malad to win every matchup but you know if he has some you know he's at least he's got a lot of work he's got to face he's got to face Kerrigan he's got to face uh, a rookie Teron Jackson he's got he's got a lot of competition there um, and, he, and he's and they're helping each other at the same time in camp. So really, it's helping both positions at once. So I'm happy for Mulata, you know what I mean. But Josh Wet, I am I am excited to see what he's bringing to the table in this rotation this year. I really am to be a starting defensive lineman. It's it's really nice to see that. So uh, very happy for for both players. Now after practice today, uh, you know Zach Ertz and Jalen Hurts. Uh, 
we're in red doing red zone drills today. So they got some. They put some extra work in after practice today. I still don't know what Zach Ertz is doing. Is he really going to be here? I really don't know. But to this point, I can't even really think about it anymore because I really don't. I I really have no clue now. I don't like. I I don't. I just I just don't get why he's here. I really don't. Yes, it it makes our you know tight end room better, but when it comes futuristically and and being a $12 million cap it this year when you already signed Richard Rodgers and you have other tight ends you could develop right now. It's just a whole different story. So I get a little frustrated with it. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, obviously, we had some little snippets last night on some big news about some rumors about the Sean Watson. I know everybody's kind of flipping out about that right now. But that's pretty much the news for today. Um, and actually, I've actually forgot the most important thing as of right now. Um, and that was Jalen Rager. I don't know why I was just trying to end it. I totally just had a brain for it. Sorry about that. Jalen Rager had a really, really, really good day. I guess that tough love from Nick Sirianni yesterday really did help. And Rager beat. Darius Slay on a one-handed catch was covered perfectly. Slay has had a very good camp covering Jalen Rager perfectly. Rager gets the one-handed um, touchdown at training camp. Then on another rep, beats Steven Nelson deep for a big reception. So Rager seems to do well on Tough Love um, and played really well today and really showed up today. Wow. Really, really excited. I'm excited. Devontae Smith is still out with the MCL sprain. Going to be out another week and a half, two weeks, you know, another week and a half, whatever it is, two weeks. Um, and once he gets back and, and Rager's got to be, you know, while, while he's gone, Rager's got to be that number one guy right now. Or it could be Quez or it could be Travis Fulgham. I don't know what it is, what's going to happen. But um, I can't wait till preseason. Guys get some snaps um, and just see what happens. So uh, Rager, very proud of him. I'm praying he works out. I'm praying that. He has a vengeful year this year. I, I really do. Like he, I have a feeling he's going to compliment Devontae Smith really well. It's not even just him. It's all these receivers. Like They're all going to compliment each other well because they're going to be playing every wide receiver position. They're all going to be hungry. They're all going to bring swag to this offense. And Hurts is just going to be the ending piece to it. So it, it's, it's fantastic, and I'm happy for Rager. I hope he has more days like this. I really do. But other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. Now I'm going to end it the normal way. I will see you guys later. Six quote up files five. Peace out, guys. Peace.